You jinxed it. Understanding common English phrases. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to explore a fun and commonly used phrase in English, you jinxed it. Whether you're an English language learner or just curious about this quirky expression, you're in the right place. So, let's dive in and demystify this phrase together. You jinxed it is a phrase used when something goes wrong immediately after someone says something positive about it. It's based on the superstitious belief that by mentioning good luck, you might accidentally cause the opposite to happen. For example, if you say, it hasn't rained all week, and it suddenly starts to rain, someone might say, you jinxed it, to playfully suggest your comment caused the change. The idea of a jinx in English is rooted in superstition. A jinx is a curse or a spell that brings bad luck. So, when someone says, you jinxed it, they are humorously implying that your words cast a spell of bad luck. It's important to note that this is used in a light-hearted manner and is not meant to be taken seriously. This phrase is often used in casual conversations among friends or colleagues. It's not used in formal situations. You might hear it during a sports game, in an office when a project suddenly encounters problems, or in any situation where something unexpectedly goes wrong. It's a way to add a bit of humor to an otherwise disappointing situation. Let's look at a few examples. Alice, we've had no IT issues this week. Bob, the internet suddenly disconnects. Well, you jinxed it. Chris, I haven't lost a single game today. Dana, after Chris loses the next game, Guess you jinxed it, Chris. While this phrase is common in English-speaking countries, it's interesting to note that many cultures have similar concepts. Discussing them can be a fun way to learn about different superstitions around the world. Remember, it's always used in a playful and non-serious context. That's all for today's lesson on the phrase, you jinxed it. We hope you found this video informative and entertaining. Remember, language learning is not just about grammar and vocabulary, but also about understanding the culture and nuances of everyday expressions. See you in our next video. And let's hope I haven't jinxed it by saying it's going to be great.